Okay, workout complete. I am so nasty and sweaty and my legs literally feel like jello, but I feel really good and we are done working out for the day. So I'm heading home right now to get cleaned up for the day. I'm really excited to have coffee, like really excited. I The whole time I'm working out, all I'm thinking about is that I can't wait to get home and make some coffee. And I wanna tell you guys, if you didn't know, it's currently Amazon Prime Days. And my very, very favorite collagen, the collagen for her, is on Amazon Prime Deal. So this is a really good time to stock up. So once I get home, make my coffee, we'll sit down. I'll share with you some of my favorite collagen for her products that are part of the Amazon Prime sale. So let's drive home and let's have some coffee. One hour later. So as you can see, I am finishing up my protein coffee for today. I did get ready for the day. I definitely look a little more put together than I did at the gym this morning. But like I mentioned, I wanted to share with you a really great Amazon Prime Day deal. I will link my Amazon store down below for you. There's a good possibility that a lot of the products that I favorited in my Amazon store are on sale, but one of my all-time favorite products and something that I put into my coffee every single day. As you know, the collagen for her collagen peptides is on sale on Amazon for Prime Day. So there are quite a few products from Collagen For Her that I use. Number one is the actual Collagen For Her collagen peptide powder. In fact, it's almost gone. I actually have another backup on hand, but I put a scoop of this into my coffee every single day. It's a great way to get in some collagen. It's a great way to get in some protein. Keep in mind that collagen is not a complete protein, but it is still 10 grams of protein per scoop, which is what I put in my coffee. Collagen is really great for skin elasticity, hair, nails. For me, using collagen, I feel has been one of the main reasons that I don't have have a lot of loose skin from losing over a hundred pounds. Now don't get me wrong, girls got loose skin. I have some on my arms, I have quite a bit on my inner thighs, but I really, really believe that taking collagen, especially collagen for her, for the last couple of years has played a big part in having less than average loose skin with substantial weight loss. I love that this is a woman-owned brand, that this is a small business, that this collagen is made specifically for us, for women. So it has all the things that we as women need. So it's not just a generic collagen out there, it's specific made for us. It's affordable, it's cheaper than Vital Proteins, and like I said, it's on Amazon Prime right now for their Prime Days. It's the perfect, perfect time to pick it up. This is another product that I really enjoy from Collagen for her as well. This is the Beauty Blend Collagen. This is made specifically for beauty, so even more benefits to the hair, the skin, and the nails. It has hydrolyzed fish collagen, hyaluronic acid, which is amazing for skin. It adds moisture and plumpness to the skin, filling in fine lines and wrinkles, vitamin C and biotin. And remember, biotin is really, really good for your hair, your skin, and your nails. So about five days a week, I put a scoop of the beauty collagen in with my regular collagen. So I'm adding both of these to my coffee. This one I have noticed immense results as well. Every time I get my nails done or a pedicure, I always get comments on how strong my nails are. When they go to clip them or file them, they always say how strong they are. And that's a big reason why my nails can withhold acrylic nails so well without breaking throughout the two to three weeks before my next fill. And I've also noticed that this has helped with the strain thickness and elasticity of my hair. I feel like my hair is the healthiest it's ever been. And I attribute that to using the beauty collagen and the regular collagen peptide. And then one other product that I've really, really been loving is their collagen volcanic mask made with 10 ingredients that you can actually pronounce. I keep this in my shower. That's my little tip and trick for you for masks is I wash my face and I apply a mask and I let it sit on my skin while I finish my shower. And that way I'm getting in a face mask at the same time that I'm getting in my shower, which for me comes in really handy because we're busy and sometimes we don't have five or 10 minutes to have a face mask done separately. Here's what the product looks like. It literally looks like mud, like charcoal, but it works so good on the skin. It leaves my skin feeling really, really refreshed, super clean, hydrated, 
and I just feel like I have this glow from within in my skin and I just leave it on for about five minutes or so while I'm in the shower. Just another great product from the Collagen for Her line. Take advantage of Amazon Prime days to get a discount on these products. I'll make sure that they are all linked down below. I truly love Collagen for Her. You guys know I share it all the time. I use it every single day and the results have been incredible. So since I had a protein shake in my coffee this morning, I'm actually going to just have kind of a smaller breakfast. I'm going to do some of my all-time favorite cottage cheese, the Good Culture. It is half of a cup or 110 grams for 80 calories. I like to do a little bit more than 110 grams. I usually do about 150 grams. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh out 150 grams of cottage cheese. And then I like to take these no sugar added fruit cups. This is the mandarin orange one. And I empty out all of the liquid, dump out all the liquid, and then I add the mandarin oranges to my cottage cheese. One of my favorite things. And then I'm going to have one of the muffins that I made in my meal prep. If you haven't seen Monday's meal prep video, I'll link it down below for you. These muffins, you guys, are so delicious. Look at that. They are so good. These are a protein chocolate muffin. I made them with the American Dream nut butter. 10 out of 10, so good. So that is going to be my breakfast. So Troy is actually golfing again today. It's been really nice. He's been going golfing every Monday with his dad and his stepmom or my mother-in-law. And it's been really nice because it gives me a chance to really film and get caught up. And I just get to re I just get the house to myself, which is something that doesn't happen very much. So I've really been taking advantage of golfing on Mondays. I keep telling him that he should pick up a second day a week of golf. It's a little hard on his body because of his medical condition, but he loves to golf. So maybe just maybe he'll pick up a second day a week. I would not be complaining. I am going to link down in the description box the couple of protein videos that I've recently put out. I did one all about my favorite protein foods and then I just put out a couple days ago my six tips on how to reach your protein goal. I get DMs, messages on my Facebook group, Instagram, YouTube every day about protein. So I'm gonna go ahead and link those videos down below for you if you haven't seen them. They'll probably answer most of your questions when it comes to protein and how to get it in every day. I have a couple coaching calls this morning and then we are going to make some lunch. I've been craving tacos. So I'm going to make kind of a spin on tacos. We'll make that for lunch today. So I just finished my breakfast and two of the three dogs are here, as always, for a treat, of course. Do you need treats when mommy finishes her breakfast? One of these beef bones from Costco and break it up into three pieces. We give the Palmer the little piece. There you go, buddy. And for my girl here. And then I would venture to guess that Diesel, in typical Diesel fashion, is in bed and will not get up for this little treat right here because he knows mommy will bring it to him. Are you not gonna get up for your treats? Diesel, do you want your treats? Here. You too lazy to get up, huh? Say I'm old, I don't wanna get up. I also am on this organizing kick. I shared with you guys in a, what I eat in a day a couple weeks ago that I bought some storage bins to organize my refrigerator and my pantry. I also bought a new laundry basket and storage basket for my spare bedroom, all from the brand Good Pick. Well, I went back on their website and got something else. This is their wrap organizer box. So this is really cool. This is actually an organizer for saran wrap, foil, all of those boxes of wrap that ends up in your drawer that you can never ever keep organized. There's a solution from Good Pick for that. This wrap organizer is so cute. I absolutely love that it is wood. My, you, my silverware tray is wood. The organizer that I have for my sandwich bags, all my little baggies is wood as well. Look at how adorable this is. There are spots for all of your wraps this automatically cuts all of your wraps for you so you don't have to worry about the sharp edges that come on saran wrap and foil. Ooh, I'm so excited. So let's organize all my wraps. It also comes with these cute stickers so that you can label which wrap is which. So there's plastic, wax, 
foil and parchment paper. There's three slots, so you can actually put in three different wraps. I'm actually going to put the little label up here in the corner. This is just going to make my drawer look a lot better, be a lot more organized, and like I said, it's really nice quality. It feels really nice and heavy and weighted, and I just love the aesthetic of the wood. So this is my current situation. So I have my foil, my saran wrap, some parchment paper, and then I actually just have some baking sheets. So I'm going to put these three rolls into here. So to access it, you're just going to take off the piece of wood that's on the end, and then you can slip your wraps into the open compartments. So we're going to start with my foil. I think this is the top where the Good Pick logo is. So I think I'm going to put my foil here in the middle. What I like about this is, I don't know if you can see how big that is. I mean, you can put the Costco size rolls of saran wrap, parchment paper, wax paper, foil in here, which is really nice because I do always buy my plastic wrap from Costco. You're just going to pull up the wrap and you will just cut it. I'll show you, I'll actually do a little piece of the foil here. So however much of the wrap you want, you just use the little slide cutter and it cuts it perfectly for you. This is going to be so handy and it's going to look much nicer in my drawer. So unfortunately, the Costco size of the plastic wrap does not fit in the compartment. I was hoping that it would, but I mean, this is the industrial saran wrap. Any other wrap that you buy at your local grocery store will fit no problem. So what I will do is go ahead and just keep my plastic wrap in the Costco box. But instead of plastic wrap, what I'm gonna do is purchase a roll of wax paper and I'll go ahead and put the roll of wax paper in here. I'm just currently out. Otherwise, we would add our roll of wax paper. But I am going to put in my roll of parchment paper, which this is always a pain to get out of the container that it comes in. So this is going to be really, really helpful for that as well. And again, you just flip the paper over. I tuck it under the little cutter. We're gonna hold it and slice. And that's another thing is I find with these containers, it's really hard to get a nice even slice. And this worked perfectly for that. So we are going to go with wax paper, foil, and parchment paper. So let's go ahead and add these stickers. So we'll put wax here at the top, and then when I do my grocery shopping, I'll just grab a roll of wax paper. Secondly, we have our foil, and lastly, our parchment paper. And there are extra stickers. So in the event that I buy a smaller roll of plastic wrap, I can easily just swap the wax out for plastic. I like that they give you multiples of the stickers so that you have options if you ever decide to swap them out. And then the little wood piece on the end is magnetic, which is really nice so it stays in place. <gasps> Look how good that looks. Let's go ahead and put it in the drawer. It's definitely going to make it much more organized. Look at how nice that looks. I mean, that looks so much better, really easy access to everything, which I really appreciate. Highly, highly recommend. I always feel really good when my kitchen is super organized. So I'll make sure that I link the Good Pick Wrap Organizer down in the description box for you. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I couldn't be happier with how this drawer looks. I wanted to share with you guys these really, really cute vases that I picked up from the brand Time Yard. This is from Good Pick, which is the same company that my new saran wrap foil holder is from. I really like this brand. I actually have their laundry baskets and storage basket that I shared with you guys in a previous video, but I wanted to show you these vases. Look at how absolutely beautiful these are. The quality of these is really nice. They do have the little feet on the bottom, which keeps them in place. It comes as a set of three, and I thought you could either display them without anything in them. They kind of give that whole farmhouse vibe, which I have really been loving. You guys know that we have a lot of neutral colors in our house, white, black, gray. So I thought that these would be a really nice addition to our home decor. 
I love that there are three different sizes. Aren't these so beautiful? I mean, there's a crackle design on them, which just adds really nice, a really nice touch and texture. I love that it's a three piece set. We have a really tall, thin vase, a medium size, and then a small one. You could display these, all three of these together. You could display them individually. It would be fun to put some cute little sticks or pompous grass in them. I think that would add a really nice touch. I mean, the possibilities with these little vases are endless. So I need to decide where I want to display these in my house. And I'm thinking that I wanna display all three of them together. I really love these, the quality. I can't get over how good the quality is of these. I'm obsessed with this. Look at how adorable these look on my kitchen table. I love them. They are so beautiful and they go really nicely with the whole decor vibe we have in here, which is the gray and the white. My plan is to get some type of pompous grass eucalyptus, pull in a little bit of faux plant, a little bit of green into it, but these are absolutely stunning and they look so beautiful in our kitchen. I have been looking for something for the center of our table and these vases are perfect. I'll make sure to link the set of three vases down below for you. Super, super affordable and really excellent quality. So I just made up my post-workout. I shared this with you guys last week. I'm still getting lots and lots of questions about it, but this is the 6 a.m. finish line post-workout supplement. I have watermelon. It is for soreness, fatigue, and recovery. It works so well. It tastes really, really good. And for me, it definitely helps prevent massive soreness for several days. I'm usually sore the next day, and then it pretty much dissipates. It has some BCAAs in it. It's just a really good supplement post-workout. As always, I'll link it down below for you. I am going to sip on my first 32 ounces of water for the day, get in my BCAA supplement. I'm gonna sit on the couch with the dogs for a little bit because Palmer, Palmer's very needy. French Bulldogs are very needy and he's been following me around, which generally means that he wants to sit and cuddle on the couch and sleep for a little bit. So I think I'm gonna take a few minutes and relax, which never happens before my coaching call. It feels really good actually to sit down on the couch and relax for a couple minutes. As you guys know, my life is really busy, so it's hard for me to have time to sit down and relax. And I know that if I just chill with Palmer for a little bit. That usually helps keep him satisfied for a big chunk of the day. What is this that you brought up here? What is it, Palmer? So for lunch today, I'm going to make a burrito bowl, taco bowl. I don't know why, but I've been craving like taco meat. Not necessarily a taco, but taco meat. So I'm going to put together a high protein taco burrito bowl. Let's call it a burrito bowl. That sounds a little bit better. So I'm going to cook up a pound of a 93% extra lean ground beef. So I'm browning up the ground beef. I'm going to add some taco seasoning to it. And then I'm going to add some pinto beans. I mean, you could really use whatever beans you want. I had black beans in pinto, but I opted for pinto. And then once the ground beef is cooked, I'll add in the taco seasoning and a can of Rotel. This just really amps up the flavor. I'm going to top my bowl with some sour cream and some salsa. Now, let me put you on to some absolutely in incredible salsa. This is fresh pico de gallo salsa. Absolutely incredible, affordable, and clean ingredients. That's something that's really important for me in salsa. I'm also looking for one that doesn't have a lot of added sugar. So both of these salsas are from Sam's Club. So they're actually the Members Mark brand, which is Sam's Club house brand, kind of like great value for Walmart. First, I have the Members Mark fresh salsa mild. Let me tell you guys, five calories for two tablespoons of the salsa and your ingredients, tomatoes, onions, jalapeno peppers, cilantro, garlic, water, natural flavors, salt, and contains less than 1% of lactic acid, lemon juice concentrates, and xanthan gum and beet powder for color. Nice clean ingredients and you can see that it's that yummy, chunky salsa vibe 
and then this one I'm really excited about. So first the mild one is for Troy. This is the one that I know that Troy will really like. He's not a big fan of cilantro. Either you love it or you hate it. I love cilantro, so I will use this salsa as well, but I also picked up the fresh cilantro salsa. So this one is going to be all the cilantro vibes. Same good ingredients, five calories for two tablespoons. So I'm going to put the cilantro salsa on my burrito bowl, but I have both of them. They're both really, really good. So I've been loving these salsas. Like I said, not having added sugar is really important to me. In fact, these salsas have one gram of sugar and one carbohydrate, and that gram of sugar is natural from the tomatoes and things that are in the salsa. So if you have a Sam's Club near you, highly recommend picking these up. So I decided to leave my meat in a little bit bigger chunks. I'm actually going to be weighing everything out on my food scale. I went ahead and cooked the meat down so that there's no more grease. I'm going to add in about a packet's worth of taco seasoning. I just buy the big jar at Costco and then my can of Rotel. So I have everything on my food scale. I'm going to weigh out four ounces. Let me set this to ounces of the ground beef and Rotel. Three point two ounces, three point nine, three point eight. There we go, perfect. So I have my ground beef. I'm going to add a quarter cup of pinto beans, and then I'm going to do one tablespoon or fifteen grams of sour cream. And then the star of the show, the members Mark Salsa. It is zero points and a measly five calories. So there's my burrito bowl. We have a pretty low carb bowl. The only carbs we have come from the beans, which the beans also have a lot of fiber, so it's the perfect pairing. I'll just mix it all together. I think I'm also going to have some cucumbers. I bought some little mini cucumbers. They're so good and crunchy. So I think I'm gonna have some of those on the side. So that is lunch. So here are the little cucumbers. They're the Persian cucumbers. They're really good. They're super, super crunchy. Mm. I've been loving them on a side by themselves. On Sunday, I actually posted some pictures of me at the pool here in our community, and I took some grapes and some of these little cucumbers with me to munch on at the pool. But I did mix everything together in my little burrito bowl. Looks really good. That member's mark salsa. I have, I have to say it's probably the best salsa I've ever had. I did use the cilantro one in my burrito bowl. Get it. Next time you're at Sam's Club, 100% get it. I'm going to make a protein shake for my afternoon snack. It's about two o'clock. I am using eight ounces or one cup of the Carb Master milk. This was my replacement because I couldn't find the Fair Life. It was actually sold out at my Fry store. So I bought the Carb Master milk. This one actually has 60 calories, so it's less than the Fair Life and eight ounces and 11 grams of protein. I love using it for protein shakes because it just really amps up the protein. And I've been loving the Ghost Chips Ahoy protein powder in my protein shake. It is so good, 160 calories, 25 grams of protein. So I'm going to put in one scoop. I don't know if you can see that, but there's little bits of chocolate chips in it. It is so, so good. And then for fun, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of Lily's chocolate chips as well. That way when it crushes it up, I have the extra little bit of chocolate. And then some ice cubes and we'll blend her up. Ooh, I'm so excited. Look at how creamy and yummy. Mmm, that's so good. The chocolate chips get broken up, so they're still chunky in there, so you get that extra little bit of chocolate. Mmm. So good. Mm. Okay, so this is real life. Right now, I knocked my protein shake over. It's now all over the counter. Uh, it's all over my pants, as you can see. It's all down my dishwasher. Lola, no, 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 the dogs are licking it up. Yeah, so take two on the protein shake. Okay, take two. We just cleaned up my huge mess. 
that I made all over myself and the kitchen. So I ended up doing the same thing again, added some more chocolate chips, some ghost protein powder, blend it up, and finally, this is gonna be the afternoon snack. I love my life. I love it. Okay, hopefully this one can make it till the end. Seriously, so good. I'll go ahead and link the ghost protein powder down below for you guys. For tonight's dinner, I am making roasted vegetables and one pot turkey parmesan pasta. So it is a pasta made in one pot, super easy, easy for busy weeknights and weekends. So let me show you what's in the pasta recipe and then what I'll be doing to roast up my vegetables. First, you're going to need a pound of 99% extra lean ground turkey, a green bell pepper, and an onion. Parmesan cheese, a can of diced tomatoes, pasta of your choice. As always, I'm using Fibro Gourmet Pasta. I have to say, I like their snazzy new packaging. I really like that it comes in a box now. And as of the filming of this video, it's currently on sale on Nutrition's website for I think 70 cents a box off. So I'll link that down below. That's where I purchased my Fiber Gourmet Pasta. It is only three points per serving, 110 calories. So half the points and calories of regular pasta. And it is so good. Not to mention a huge punch of fiber. So I'll make sure I link Nutrition down below. Four different shapes of pasta. I always buy like 12 boxes at a time. And you'll need some beef broth. And then for the roasted vegetables, I'm doing some zucchini. I just want to use that up. And then I have these mushrooms left over that need to be used up as well. And then I'm going to season them with salt and pepper. I'll make sure I link my salt and pepper shakers down below for you. They're gravity fed, super cool. They're really affordable on Amazon. I have some avocado oil and then I'm going to season them as always with Dax. This is what I always, always put on my vegetables. This is their green zest seasoning, my all time favorite for veggies. Nice, clean ingredients, zero calories, zero points and no salt. So all of their seasonings are salt free. So I'll link them down below too with 10% off. So I'm going to get the veggies in the oven and then we'll start on the pasta. So I chopped up my zucchini, threw my mushrooms on my sheet pan. I'm going to drizzle a couple tablespoons of avocado oil right on top of the veggies. Add my salt, pepper, and dax seasoning. Our veggies are going into a 425 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. we're going to do is add the chopped up bell pepper and onion to a skillet. Allow them to saute down until soft. Once your vegetables are softened, we're adding in the pound of 99% ground turkey and we're going to break this up and allow it to cook completely. When your ground turkey is done cooking, we're going to remove it from the pan, put it in a bowl, set it aside. To the skillet, we're going to add two cups of beef broth, our box of fiber gourmet pasta, and a can of diced tomatoes. I'm going to turn my heat up and we're going to allow this to come to a boil. Once it is boiling, we'll reduce the heat to medium. Allow the pasta to cook about 10 to 15 minutes or until the pasta is cooked all the way through. I just pulled out the zucchini and the mushrooms. They look delicious. And we're just about to put the finishing touches on the pasta. Once the pasta is done, go ahead and add back in your turkey and your vegetable mixture. Mix that into the pasta. And then we're going to add about half of a cup of Parmesan cheese. We have three quarters of a cup total. The other quarter cup we will sprinkle on top. So there is the pasta. Doesn't that look so delicious? I'm really excited for this. Let me go ahead and get it plated up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is dinner. I have one serving of the one pot Pasta it looks really good with some roasted zucchini and some mushrooms. The pasta makes six servings. I'll go ahead and put points, 
calories here on the screen for you. So for dessert tonight, I am feeling a bit of a crunch. So I'm gonna do some of the Fiber Gourmet Biscotti Bites. These are the original flavor. You can have 12 of the biscotti crackers and they're about that big a piece for 80 calories. There's also three grams of protein. Let me show you the size of them. So this is the size, so you get 12 of those for the serving, not bad at all. And they contain 10 grams of fiber. So this will help me reach my fiber goal today. I'll get in that nice crunch. So I'm going to have a serving of these for dessert. I buy these off the Nutrition website, which is actually the same website that I buy my pasta, my fiber gourmet pasta. So I'll link Nutrition down below for you. So I have you propped up on my coffee canister and I thought that I would end out today's what I eat in a day. So don't forget I'll link everything that I shared with you in today's video down below along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to all of my other favorite things, my Facebook group so you can come on over, join us there and don't forget if you enjoyed another what I eat in a day and the hot mess that I am, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a what I eat in a day every Wednesday and I upload five videos a week. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.